In this tutorial, we're going to go over some of the makeover tools and other blemish fixing tools in PaintShop Pro 2018. These are great tools for making quick fixes to faces in your photos. We're going to use a couple of the makeover tools, blemish fixer and toothbrush, and also look at another tool called scratch remover, which is part of the clone tool group. At the end, for some overall touch-ups, we'll also look at the skin smoothing tool. I've got PaintShell Pro open and I'm in the Manage Workspace. Over here, I'm going to browse to where I have the image that I want to touch up. I can double click the thumbnail for a larger view to more easily see what I'd like to work on. Then back in the thumbnail view, I can right click and choose Edit Photo. Now the Edit Workspace becomes active, which is where we'll find all the tools we'll need. The makeover tools are under the red eye tool, but clicking this drop down arrow brings up a flyout and the makeover tool is here. The makeover tool options appear up here on the interactive property bar. There are five makeover tools, blemish fixer, toothbrush, eye drops, suntan, and thinify. First, I want to duplicate the image on which I'll make my edits. This way there won't be any changes made to the original image. Down here in the layers palette, I'm right clicking on the image and choosing duplicate. This creates a new identical layer placed just above the original. I'm clicking on the layer name and changing it to makeover. Here's what I want to fix first, a little blemish on the end of her nose. I'm zooming in for a closer look by scrolling my mouse wheel. I can also pan the view by pressing the space bar while dragging the mouse. I'm clicking the blemish fixer icon, the first one in the makeover toolbar. I can adjust my brush size here but it's easier to change the brush size by dragging the mouse up or down while holding the Alt key. Blemish Fixer works like a specialized clone tool. The cursor has two circles, inner and outer. I'm placing the smaller circle over the blemish. The outer circle contains the colors and textures that will be used to cover the blemish. I want to size my brush so that the entire blemish fits just inside the inner circle. Click once and the blemish is gone. I'll do the same thing to remove this little freckle here, but first I'll zoom in some more and use a smaller brush so that just the freckle fits inside. I'll do the same for a few little blemishes on this side as well, and up here on her forehead. Next, let's try the toothbrush tool. There aren't a lot of teeth showing in this picture, so I'll zoom in to get the best view. This is another one-click tool. I just click on the teeth and the toothbrush does the rest. You may have to click more than once to lighten all the various shades within the teeth. I was using the default lightening strength of 50, which makes the teeth a little too white in my opinion, so I'm using undo to get the original teeth back. I'm reducing the strength a bit, then trying again. I like these teeth better. Next, we'll use the scratch remover. This is a great tool for removing scratches from old or damaged photographs. But it has lots of other uses, such as removing power lines from landscape shots or erasing stray hairs on a photograph. That's what I'm going to do here. If I zoom in closely here, I can see an awkward little stray hair. Scratch remover is here under the clone tool and it works a bit like the blemish remover. I'm reducing the width a bit. It's best to make the tool size as small as possible to avoid affecting other areas. I'm dragging this rectangle along the straight part at the end of the hair. The colors and textures from the two outer rectangles are brought into the middle rectangle, removing the hair. I can drag a few more times, removing another bit of hair each time. This tool is also great for removing wrinkles, like these around the eyes, and for plucking eyebrows. This area around the chin shows some slight blotchiness, and maybe we also want to remove some of the larger pores in this area. These bits could be evened out with the blemish fixer, but there's another tool that makes this even easier. I'm choosing Adjust Skin Smoothing. The skin smoothing preview window shows a before and after view, and you can zoom and pan on either image. 
The after view around the nose now shows smaller pores, and the chin is now smoother as well. But I can increase the smoothing amount here. If I click Preview on Image, I can see the entire effect of this tool in real time. Click OK and the changes are made. Because all of these tools were used on their own layer, I can easily compare the new image to the original one. By clicking the eye icon on the makeover layer, I can toggle it off, leaving only the original layer displayed. Quite a difference. This brings us to the end of this short tutorial. In addition to the makeover tools I demonstrated here, there are many other tools you can use to touch up or enhance your images. Some of these are selective focus, depth of field, glamour filters, and the ability to change the colors of eyes, hairs, or lips, just to name a few. To see these in action, check out Corel's Discovery Center at learn.corel.com. And if you found this tutorial on YouTube while searching for training content, you can find many more videos and written tutorials at the Discovery Center, again at learn.corel.com. Thank you.